Hi everyone, it's Corinne coming to you once again from the alley of my co-working office. So if you hear a delivery truck in the background, um, that's what it is. Um, thanks to the subscriber who submitted the idea for this week's Mindset Monday's topic, which is freelancing as we age. And before you say, oh, I shouldn't be talking about freelancing and aging because I'm not that old. Well, I'm kind of old, I'm 48. Um, and I think one difference that I have noticed just in my work life in say the past two years is when I look at, let's say, the 20 somethings at my co-working office, I'm actually a lot closer to their parents' age than to their age. Or, you know, I'm a lot closer to having a child who's 25, ah, <laughs> than I am to being 25 myself. So let's talk about it. So first of all, number one, let's put it out there. I think 99% of ageism in the freelance market is in our minds. Um, literally, if your brain still works, you can be successful as a freelancer. And I will tell you for sure, I know three, count them three, um, freelance translators who have worked until they were 90, nine zero years old or older. So let's put that out there first. But um, I think what we need to think about is how we change as we get older as freelancers. And here I have a few ideas. First of all, I think number one, we expect the market to stay the same as, when it, as how it was when we were younger. And for example, the person who submitted this question said, um, she's having a lot of frustration getting work from her regular agency clients. And that I would say, maybe not at all ageism, but a question of expecting the market to stay the same. Because I will say, as I've said several times before, um, my rate of let's say 15 to 16 cents a word to agencies has gone from sure to maybe to no way to the point that I really have not taken on any new agency clients in, I don't know, two years, maybe longer. So I would say that could be a case of you, the older freelancer, expecting the market to stay the same, which it doesn't. Also, I find as I get older, I have less hustle. Like when I think of the amount of work that I put into um, finding and retaining new clients when I first started freelancing when I was 30, I go, wow, <laughs> where did I get the stamina to apply to 400 translation agencies during my first year in business to drive an hour each way to go have a 15 minute coffee with a project manager, which are just things that now I feel less motivated to do. And I will say too, um, when a couple of years ago when I lost a big agency client because they wouldn't pay my rates anymore and I did look for new agency clients, one thing I thought was, wow, it is a really different experience hustling 22-year-old project managers for work when you're 45 <laughs> versus when you're 30 and it's sure a different situation hustling 22-year-old project managers for work when you're 70. So I think our outlook on hustle may change. Um, and I think too, if there is in fact a component of your business that you feel bad about because of your age, get out of it. <laughs> so I have heard from a couple of interpreters, you know, for example, like I work in conference interpreting and I'm 70 and I know that the younger interpreters like talk behind my back about stuff that I do that they see as kind of old lady-ish, then get out of there because not because of the ageism factor, but because you don't need to feel bad about yourself. You don't need work that makes you feel bad about yourself. And a few other concrete tips that I think all of us know, but it bears repeating, make sure you are keeping up with technology. Number one thing, I think if clients fear anything about older freelancers, it's that they're going to be technophobic or refuse to use certain kinds of technology. So if you are in a market that demands technology, you have to keep up with it. And I saw someone use the phrase market young. I really liked that. Like, don't put a 25 year old picture on your resume to try to look younger. Show that you know that now people use, let's say, an infographic resume. You know, you can make one on Canva very easily um, and make sure that your marketing presence look, looks fresh and not like it's from the 1980s. But other than that, I just think don't use age as your own excuse not to be successful as a freelancer. Make sure you evolve if you want to stay in this business, which I do. I hope you do too. <laughs> okay, thanks.